today we we are going to talk about something very interesting uh we are going to be uh, talking about uh, uh refining order blocks we are going to be talking about refining order blocks so yesterday it was about uh, what is an order block and how to to identify one but today it's about refining the order blocks after you identify the obs so what we're going to do is i'm going to, to to tell you how to to which order block to trade so if you find an order block so this is more of a risk management uh, technique where you are saying you, you have your order block on, on, on the higher time frames, but then if you go back or if you go down to the lower time frames, you, you are essentially minimizing your, your, your risk. So what you are doing there is you, you want to, to, to find the best order blocks on the higher time frames, then uh, get them to, to the lowest risk possible using the other what the other time frames, which means you are going to, to use the H4, for example, then you go down maybe up to, 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 to M5, right? Up to M5, so that you can get a, a very tight uh, stop loss uh, uh, as possible. Yeah. So that's what we are going to do. Um, we will start now. So uh, let me just do a quick, um, a quick demonstration of what I mean. And I'm going to show you what we call rejection blocks too. So that's so that's that's what we are going to do. So let let me just uh, <clears throat> demonstrate something using my screen. So I'll be sharing my screen. I hope you guys are seeing my screen. Right. So this is a uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, British pound Swiss franc. So this is GBPCHF, GBPQ. Right. So this is what we are going to be using for for our example here. So number one what what are we doing number one you are not going to choose what i call mitigated order blocks in simple okay that's just english but in simple terms it means we are going to go for order blocks that have not yet been retested or order blocks that are fresh that are original you understand so if you look in this area okay just just consider this zone these all these order blocks are mitigated in, in other words, you are saying they were retested, right? So we are going to avoid other blocks that look like this, and we are going to be going for other blocks that haven't been tested. For example, this one, you understand? So that's the other block we want, where we are having an aggressive move and the last candle being what being our other block. So that's what we are going to be to be using, and that's what we are going to be going for, right? So if you look at this again. We have this order block, as you can see, this is the OB. So I'll be using this Y because this hasn't already happened. It hasn't been retested yet. So what we're going to do is we want to go down, we want to refine this order block, right? So in other words, let me just uh, do a simple uh, demonstration. Let's say this is your candle. This is your OB on what? On, on, on H4. Then this is the, the move. So let, let's just change the color so that uh, we, we see it clearly. So this will be your OB, this, this little one. That's your order block, right? That's your OB. Uh, if that is your OB, it means this is the aggressive So it means if this is the aggressive move, this is the OB. And the OB, let's say this is on H4. On H1, it would look like this. It will not be one candle. It will be like, let's say just, let's say four candles, one. We are going down. That's that's a down move, right? Two, maybe three, four. Then we have that aggressive move like that. So, okay. So this aggressive move is this this candle, this little candle is represented by these four candles. So one candle on H four can be four candles on on on. on on H1 like that, right? Same applies to, to M30, to, to, so this OB will be marked like this on H4, and you have written H4 OB. So this is now the H1, what do you do? What do you do on H1? How are you refining? You are going to mark the last candle on H1, which will be uh, this one, which will be this candle, 
right here. So that will be your OB. Instead of using all this, you are waiting for this last candle on, what, on H1. Then if you go down to, to M5 with this H1 candle, it will be more candles again. You just use the same one. Just use the same principle and and dial down to what to to the the lowest OB uh, possible, right? Uh, let's use a chart example for that so that you guys can understand. So let me set. these are all mitigated, so you can just draw your trend line. Uh, Mr. Kanyamba, I hope you see. It. Just draw your trend line just to to see this break. So you know this all mitigation that was happening in this is we are past that now. Then you mark your your order block like that. Then you go down and do the trick. So but I'm looking for 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 a perfect OB so that I can show you. But uh, it looks like I'm not uh, getting one. So let's just use this one which we have here. Now let's go to let's go to, to a lower time frame. Let's go down to a lower time frame, right? H1, H1, H1. Right. You see on H1, what do we have on H1? Right. You see, uh, we marked one H4 candle. And within that one H4 candle, we have one, two, three, four. This one from here. These are one, two, three, four green candles. So what are you going to do here? You are going to use the last candle as your as your OB. So you are moving all this to this last candle, right? That was taken out by this. So the other thing you should know is the order block you are going to use should look like this. Let's say this is the OB. The next candle should break that OB candle of yours, right? What happens then if the candle is not broken, right? Good question. So what happens is this, let's say this is your candle, right? This is your OB, right? Last opposite candle. Then we have the next candle looking like this. Let's say, let's say this is red, then this is blue. Let's, let's change the color so that we know we have changed. This is supposed to be our OB. Then the next one uh, actually breaks like this. So if this was your OB, you're going to change it to the next one. The color doesn't matter. The color doesn't matter in this area. So you're going to change it for the next one like that. Then you wait for your, for your retest. If it's like this, you're going to mark it like that and leave it like that. Then if it's like this, you're going to, to refine it to that. Understood? You're going to refine it to, to that, right? So then there is a, a, an issue of weeks, right? Let's say this is a very good example we have marked here. Okay, before we, this is H1, right? This is refining. So let's go to, 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 to M15 and try to see how this looks like on M15. You see, this candle is the one, is that candle we marked on M15. But I want you to see something. I, I, I think everyone has seen the, 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 the week on H1. That okay. Let me just uh, do this. Let's say this is your candle, your order block candle. Then you have another candle that is a week that goes beyond the week of this candle. Let's say the week of this candle is like this. Uh, guys, you should be writing this down because you won't remember it. Just saying, because this is premium stuff. You won't find it anywhere. You won't find it anywhere. Maybe from someone else, but from me. This is it. You find it here only in these special classes. That's it. So let's say this is a red candle, right? Uh, this is a red candle, right? This thing. This is a red candle. So this this is going to be your, your order block. You mark it like that. But then we have that week that takes out the candle we are marking as the order block. As you see here, this is a week on H1. So on H1, it looks like this. It looks like this on H1. It looks like this on H1. But on H15, it looks like... So what do you do if you have this? You don't mark this OB. You mark the week as your order block. Now this is what we call a rejection block. Like that. That's what you are marking. And if you mark that, let's go to, to, to H1 and mark it like that. And we come back to, to, to M15. We see how it looks. You see, this is the week. 
So you are going to mark with the wick like that. You just, you see, and the candle and the wick. If this candle uh, was this one, let's say the, this candle was starting from here, we're just marking the top of the candle. But because of how this candle is like, we mark this candle and we include that wick that breaks the what? That will be why? Because what we're saying is an order block should be the last line of defense. You understand? It should be the last line of defense, right? So there shouldn't be anything above or be above a bearish order block or below a bullish order block. If there is something, it means there is money there. So you mark it like that, right? So if you go to M15, this now looks like this. This now looks like this. So you are patiently waiting for price to go back there. Retest and we move. You understand? So this is what we're doing. I hope I'm not confusing you, but uh, you, 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 you have to rewatch the video so that you can understand, right? So after you refine the, the, the order block, you are then using the last order block. If you, you, you get back to uh, as low as M1, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't encourage you to, but if you do, you, you, that, that, that's what you will be using. That's what you will be using. Understood? That's what you'll be using. Uh, okay. Okay, so right, so that's uh, okay. Let's look at more order blocks from Gary G. Let's see how these things are mitigated and how we can take advantage of this. Is what we have. Oh, this is jump. Okay. I've never studied this pair, but we are studying it now. <laughs> So that's the all. This is an order block, right? This candle. Let's mark it. Let's mark the whole candle so that I can be able to. To. Okay. So that I can be able to. I'm able to tell you guys how these things happen. So, okay. This is interesting. You see this candle, that is supposed to be your order block, but can you see that the wicks are bigger than the body? If a candle is like that as your OB, you move to the next candle, no matter the color of the next candle, you refine that to the next candle, then this now becomes your, your order block. You understand? Like that, that's how you refine Candles that have bigger wicks compared to their body. Understand? So that's what we are doing there. And we mark out this also. This is an order block, right? It was retested where? Here. It was retested here. But can you see? Uh, I want you to, to see something. OB, a break structure. We are going to talk about break of structure in the next session, right? So order block, aggressive move. This is the type of candle. Okay, okay. In simple terms, I just say an order block should be followed by an engulfing candle. If not, you move to the next one, to the last candle. No matter, no matter the, the, the color of the candle. You understand? So this is how you do it. The, okay, let's go to, to M15 and try to refine these two order blocks, which we have marked, right? Let's see how how how, how this uh went. Okay. Okay, guys, this this is this is not moving, right? The 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 jump is not happening, but I think you you get the idea of refining. We just go and try to find the last line of defense uh, within that order block, right? And that's how we refine order blocks. And if we have weeks, we take the week as the rejection block, and we use uh, that as our um, last line of of defense. Okay, let's try one more time. So what I was I was doing here is uh, I did mark this OB here. Then I wanted to go to 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 M15 and try to to show you how I would have uh, me, me refined it. So if you go to M15, it would look like this. Okay, let's go to the most recent one. The most recent. Uh, this is. Let's go to the most recent one. This is 
this is the OB we want to, to consider, right? Uh, let's just go to M15, right? Right, 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 right. On M15, you see that that OB which we did mark on, on H1, on, on M15, it looks like this. Would you consider this as your order block? Absolutely no. Why? Because you don't have a candle that breaks this OB just after it. So what are we going to do? We are going to go for the next candle that price broke, right? No matter the what, no matter the no matter the color of the candle. So from this, uh, I I am not considering this one right? because this candle did not actually break this this candle. Then this one, it did so, but this is a doji. Remember, we don't mark dodges. So I would go for this because this is a more convincing break candle. You understand? This is not a break candle. It, it has weeks. The weeks are bigger than the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to go for this candle. That is my order block. That's how I refine my, my order blocks. So that's what I'm going to do there, right? I am not going to mark this as an order block. Why? Because this candle did not break this. So this one did break, but the break is not convincing. They look like they are the same. So what, which order block am I going to go for in this area? Which will be, I'm going to go for this order block right here. This one, that's my OB. And that's what I'm going to wait for. I'm not going to mark this red candle. I'm going to mark uh, this. Then this is the M15. If I go to M1, I'm going to refine these order blocks like this. Okay, let me... okay. so these are the order blocks. But if I go to M1, to H, M1, M1 like this, this is the next time frame. I'm going to go for the last, which is what this candle. That is what is going to be my order block. But because of this not breaking this, I'm not going to go for this, I'm going to go for this one that took out this, but this is a doji. So I'm going to mark this as my order block, that one. And as you can see, we had some magic. Okay, this, uh, this was supposed to be our order block, right? But because this did not, this next candle did not break this, what are we going to do? We're going to mark the next one as our OB, which was taken out by this. So this now becomes our order block. Uh, and we are waiting for something like this. Are you answered? Um, yes, I am answered a bit. I was just um, asking about that week, which goes into our order block from the last candle over there. Um, which, does it which, mean that which week? This one. Uh, on. Yes, on the, the week for that candle that you're holding, yes, um, that week that goes into the, so just- Okay, okay, know. okay, the weeks- Oh week, yeah, week. there's no week, there's no week. It was just, um, it was just a line that you had put over there. Oh, okay, okay. But let's say we had a week like what you we were seeing there. What we were going mm -hmm. to consider is, uh, if it was like what it looked like, it was unnecessary. We would just be trading this OB, but then, if it it was like this, if it was going beyond our order block like this, this would have been a, a raid on what on 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 liquidity. So we would have to consider it like that and move our to the base of this candle or to the base of this. If the base of this candle with the week is higher than the base of the order block, we consider what is higher. So in this case, the order block is the one with the higher open, as you can see. So we consider the open and the weak. That's our order block, like something like this, right? But then if this open was above or was higher than the open of the candle, we would, we would disregard the order block entirely and they have something of this nature as our order block. 